Hello everyone, I have my cousin here and he is my new neighbor actually. It's a long story, but long story short, neighbor Geir moved and neighbor Stefan moved into neighbor Geir's apartment and then you became my neighbor as well yeah. and you are my cousin. So we are here to talk about the games that we have been playing lately again. And I'm really into talking about games that I have recently been playing. So first of all, I want to say that I have a new camera and I chose the the Canon 90D and this is the first video in 4k on my channel <laughs> and if you're wondering if the camera was expensive so what we have been playing lately a lot is <laughs> actually Dragon yeah. Quest Builders 2 yeah it is crazy it is the first thing that we play in the morning and we play all day and we play all into the night every day for yeah. the past five to six days and we are so addicted yeah it was a good game yeah, it's a good game. We we yeah, love many, it. Many things to do and many quests. So uh, I like this game. Have you ever played a Dragon Quest game before? This is my first one. Yeah. So what do you think about it? I think it was a good game to be the first uh, of this uh, game. Yeah, it's a big series actually. Dragon yeah. Quest has a lot of games, and this is a spin-off actually. Yeah. But it was such a popular spin-off. Here's the guide for Dragon Quest Builders 1. This is the first game. It was such a popular spin-off that they actually decided to make a sequel of a spin-off <laughs> of a series. Yeah. That gotta say something. So yeah, it's really, really good. Actually, I've had this game for a year. I didn't get into it at first. I started with the first island and I built my crops and all of that. And that is probably a year ago. And then I left the game. I didn't get hooked back then. But I don't know, something has happened because I recently now, really recently, picked it up again because I have two copies of this. So the thing is, I wanted to give you a switch because I have several switches. So uh, I wanted you to play games with me because I always want gamer friends, especially when, you know, my gaming cousin becomes my neighbor. So I had two copies of Dragon Quest Builders 2, so I lent you one of them. And that is when I started picking up this game again, after like a year of not playing it. And this time I've become really hooked and I didn't see that coming. So Dragon Quest Builders 2 is actually an action RPG sandbox game by Square Enix and Omega Force and it had its Japan release in 2018 and in 2019 worldwide release. So it's actually not a old game. It is very Minecraft inspired and it has RPG elements, NPCs and actual objectives and storylines. This game has a long single player campaign. Oh yeah. What do you think about the length of the game? Uh, I think it's very long. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that is the game I like. Mm -hmm. I like long games. Oh, that takes a very long time. How many hours into this game are you now? I um, think I'm up to uh, 40, I mean, 50. It's not like I know how much you play when you're at home, but I know how much we have played together. First played 10 days ago. Okay, well you can't see how many hours you've actually played it until tomorrow. Yeah. It's a Switch thing. So the thing with this game is that I wanted you to play it because it has multiplayer. Yeah, I like multiplayer, they're more fun. I want to say that this game is actually really good single player, but also really good multiplayer. And the thing is, you had to play the entire first chapter of the game in order to unlock multiplayer. And I don't understand why they decided to do it like that. You actually had to play the game for a good 20 hours or something. 30 hours? Mm -hmm, until you unlocked actual <coughs> multiplayer. So the thing is, you get a multiplayer island, an actual island in this game, that is the multiplayer island. And that is where we can play together, we can build stuff together, grind blocks together, and you know, we can build cities. Oh, uh, have fun. <laughs> yeah, we can do whatever we want on that island. So that is the multiplayer aspect of the game. This game has actually a demo out on the Switch right now. So you can pick up the demo for free right now and try it. And the first game in the spin-off, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 1, has also a demo out. Um, and that is also a really good game, really, really good game. But I like number two more because there are more items, more recipes and just a sort of better storyline, I guess. I just like the freedom in Dragon Quest Builders 2 more. Dragon Quest Builders 1 was a masterpiece in itself, but they just improved on a lot of things when it comes to number two. Do you want to play number one sometime? 
I think so. Mm -hmm. Must I be uh, done with this first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you ever get done with this, because it's so freaking long. Yeah. I mean, you're still in the mines island, the desert island, I think. I've gotten to the snow island. The yeah, snow I'm almost, uh, I think almost there too. Mm. I think I have 75 hours in this game right now and actually the first island took me 30 hours The second island took me probably 30 also and then there's a side story island But I'm not gonna spoil the story, but then you get to the snow island So there that's where I'm currently at <laughs> and I'm, I'm loving the snow island Moonbrook but in short, I want to add that the game is about collecting resources, creating items and building rooms, building even huge crazy monuments and structures. And also the actual main story makes you build a lot of fun rooms and houses and it also takes you to several different unlockable islands. I like that, you, that you are on a ship and you travel to a bunch of unlockable islands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the sort of game that gets better and better the more you play it, wouldn't you say so? Yeah. Ugh. You have also been playing some other games that I've thrown in your face <laughs> the past days. Yeah, well, one game I buy from you too, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, because I sold him my copy of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu because I never really liked that game. I, I mean, let's be fair. So yeah, I sold that to you because you that was the first game that you really wanted, I guess. So what do yeah, you think about Pokemon? I was playing a little bit on that and uh, I liked it again. It was a good game like the story. You know what, I, I left the Switch and the game at your place and I came back like two days later and you had 55 hours into the game. <laughs> yeah. And you were beating the Elite Four and all of that. So what is it about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu that you like? I, li I love the music in the game. Mm. Is it relaxing? So what would you rate the game if you had to rate it from 1 to 10? I would, I would say a perfect 10. I love that game. So you have also played another Pokemon game and you just started this one because you beat you beat Pikachu in a few days. So I lent you my Pokemon Shield. <laughs> yeah. What do, what do you think about Pokemon Shield? It was a good game, but I'm finished with that though too. <laughs> oh you are <laughs> yeah. already? I just gave it to you. <laughs> I mean you just eat games up. Yeah, I know. There's a reason I have uh, on World of Warships uh, almost 500 hours. You know we are related when you <laughs> hear about his gaming addictions. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like that, so you know. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the worst. I'm, I'm sitting uh, <laughs> all day, all night. I heard the uh, music on the game. It was, wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, I like Shield way better than Let's Go, uh, much more. So in general, what do you like about the Switch? Because you are a new Switch owner. So what do you want to say about having a Switch? Good, you can uh, have the with you all over the place like so. I know, I, I love the portability of the Switch yeah. and that you can dock it when you get home, you can play it in bed, it's the best handheld system. Yeah, I have a computer, I have a PS4, PS4 Xbox 360. Do you love the Switch most? Yeah, <laughs> I can have that with me. The other things I have, I cannot take it with me. So, so you would recommend the Switch to anyone that doesn't have one yet? Yes, I do. Okay, next game we're gonna talk about is actually Warface. Yeah. Yeah, I pushed that game onto you as well because I thought <laughs> for once I have now recruited someone into my addiction circle. So, you know, I'm your Nintendo Switch dealer, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I was like, I want someone to play Warface with me and get really far into that game and that means progressing the game I guess and completing some of the missions that I have never completed before. I'm sort of recruiting you into the Warface yeah. hype I guess. Warface is a free game on the Switch and in my opinion I think it is the best free game on the Switch and I've not spent a single dime in that game. It is completely free. You don't have to spend any money inside that game. I just love the gyro aiming. I know you find it hard to get into the gyros because yeah, it I was, takes... I was sitting uh, 
Yeah, oh you're using hell. it like this, you know? Yeah. But um, the thing is that I stick aim and I fine tune aim with a gyro, so I don't really go crazy and wild all across the room with a gyro, you know? <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm kind of recruiting you into that as well. I highly recommend Warface. It is free. I mean, you can download the demo of Dragon Quest Builders 2 today and also the free Warface game. I love that game. It's really good, really fun and really addicting. And I just wanted someone to play. <laughs> yeah. You like shooting stuff, don't you? Yeah, there was uh, on the computer. There was uh, shooting games. There was my first game. Runs in the family. I I remember um, our uh, other cousin. Uh, he uh, showed me the first game I ever played in my life. Well, on the computer it was uh, Delta Force Black Hawk Down and Call of Duty. <laughs> nice. I mean, I was also introduced early on to Doom by the family. So you know, it runs in the family. Yeah. Okay, in other news everyone, I just have to tell you this, and that is I have a new Switch grip. And this grip, Tiny Hats recommended to me. She was like, I have bought a new grip, you gotta check this out, send the link to me. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because I trust your judgment, I trust Tiny Hats' judgment on things. So she found this grip and I bought it and I got it. And I gotta say, it is my favorite grip. I like this grip way more than the the popular one. What is it called? Oh, the other grip. Yeah. I don't remember what the other grip was called. But I need a bigger if I have a big hands. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is they are interchangeable. These plates on the back side, they are interchangeable. Oh. And they came with bigger grips and smaller grips. I have the smallest one equipped. The selling point on this skull and coal grip is that it is actually so thin that it is making it possible to dock your switch with the grip on. It is dockable, you know, into the, nice. the tight ass dock with it on. Just a tiny little tip from Tiny Hats. Okay, so we are ending the video with... Do we recommend Dragon Quest Builders 2? Yes. Okay, if any of you want to play uh, on my multiplayer island, join my Discord and you can feel free to build a hotel or a, you know, a house with me. Go down there and check it out. That was basically everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Twitter and Instagram. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, you know. See and like the video. Please like the video. <laughs>